A new discovery may help answer the age-old question of whether or not we are alone in the universe. Mystery widens. Today, people in the New York metro area are reporting a growing number of drone sightings. For the first time, researchers are examining Triton, the biggest moon of Neptune, using the new James Webb Space Telescope. Webb has the ability to observe infrared light, which is invisible to the human eye, unlike previous telescopes. The composition of Triton's surface, atmosphere, and even the faintest indications of a buried ocean may all be seen in this light. Is it possible for Webb to photograph the surface of Triton? What material makes up Triton's surface? Is there an atmosphere to it? Under the ice, is there a secret ocean? Is life even possible on Triton? You'll have to watch this film through to the finish to find out how Webb might assist us solve these and other issues. The largest moon of Neptune, Triton, is like a faraway mystery in our cosmic backyard, reflecting a significant portion of the sunlight that strikes it and encased in a cool layer of nitrogen. Astronomers have always been fascinated with Triton, but the James Webb Space Telescope's advent has brought about a new era in our understanding of this frozen planet. Imagine Webb as our cosmic detective, but with a twist. It physically has a different perspective on the world. Webb focuses on the infrared spectrum rather than merely ordinary visible light, which is akin to having the ability to see things differently. Webb has something even more amazing in store for itself, even though it isn't able to take Instagram-worthy pictures of Triton's surface as a rover would. We can obtain a glimpse of what this moon is composed of, how hot or cold it gets in different places, and what type of air it's breathing by using it to examine the infrared light that bounces off Triton. Imagine Webb as an artist who uses several infrared hues to create a detailed image of Triton rather than colors. And believe me when I say that this isn't just any painting, rather it's a masterpiece that might disclose secrets that lie beyond the surface. We may finally be able to solve the puzzles of Triton's landscape with Webb's infrared vision, identifying odd formations, comprehending its weather patterns, and perhaps even gaining hints about what's happening beneath all that icy shell. Who knows, we might find evidence of secret oceans or bubbling activity, turning Triton from a far-off curiosity into a world full of surprises. Think of Triton as a map with several colors, each of which stands for a distinct frozen substance, such as methane or nitrogen. Similar to a book, Webb can read these colors to inform us about Triton's past such as whether it was struck by large space objects or experienced cold volcanic eruptions. Webb could detect evidence of past collisions or areas with a lot of methane ice, which could indicate that ancient cryovolcanoes spit out a mixture of frozen gases. JWST also monitors the cold air, primarily nitrogen, on Triton. Where sunshine seeps through, it can convert ice to gas. It's similar to watching steam rising on a chilly morning from a hot cocoa cup. Therefore, Triton is more than just a dull, frigid moon because of JWST. Like plumes of warm water slipping out from beneath the freezing surface, gases like carbon monoxide or methane may be indicators of some significant subterranean activity. But beneath Triton's frigid exterior might be the true prize. According to some scientists, Neptune's gravitational embraces may be keeping a secret ocean safe beneath the surface. Although Webb is unable to see this ocean directly at this time, it is searching for hints. Imagine this. Where there shouldn't be a hot spot on Triton's surface, Webb finds one. On an icy pond, it's similar to locating a warm place. It can indicate that water is bubbling up from underneath. Although Webb is unable to address every problem, it is undoubtedly looking for clues about undiscovered treasures. This enigma cannot be solved by Webb alone. To establish the existence of the ocean and determine its contents, we may require lander or probe missions in the future, but Webb is laying the foundation by guiding us in the right direction. Our knowledge of Triton is probably going to change drastically as a result of Webb's observations. Let's talk about why. Compositional diversity, a more intricate composition than previously believed may be revealed by Webb's meticulous mapping of the surface ice. We may find pockets of unusual ices that could indicate previous comet encounters or collisions. Researching the flow of trace gases in Triton's thin atmosphere 
may reveal information regarding possible cryovolcanic activity and the impact of Neptune's gravity. Evidence of cryovolcanism. It would be revolutionary to find methane or other gases linked to volcanic activity, indicating that geological processes are still occurring on this frozen planet. Subsurface ocean clues. By locating areas with unusual heat signatures or wobbliness in Triton's rotation, future missions may be able to establish the existence of a hidden ocean. Triton is the key to solving puzzles about the solar system as a whole, not just about itself. However, what wider ramifications might Webb's observations have? We have the solution, though. The origin of Plutoids. Information on the composition and geological activity of Triton can help determine the origins of Pluto and other KBOs. Did they migrate from somewhere else in the early solar system, or were they produced in the same area as Neptune? We can put together the origin and evolution of these icy worlds by knowing Triton's past. Habitability of ice moons. The possibility that other ice moons in our solar system, including as Europa and Enceladus, could be habitable is strengthened if Webb finds evidence of a subterranean ocean on Triton. Future expeditions looking for life in the frigid regions of the outer solar system may benefit from research on Triton's possible ocean composition and interactions with its rocky core. Organic molecules and cryovolcanism. Triton's cryovolcanic activity may eject water ice that contains organic molecules, the components that make up life. Investigating the makeup of these plumes directly or by analyzing atmospheric trace gases may provide important information about the possible primordial chemistry on cold worlds. There are obstacles to overcome despite Webb's amazing potential such as Triton's great distance from Earth, which reduces the resolution of Webb's observations. Long exposure times are also necessary due to the faintness of its reflected light, which makes it challenging to record abrupt changes in its atmosphere. But Webb is only the beginning. Our knowledge of Triton may be completely transformed by future missions that make use of Webb's discoveries. High-resolution surface mapping, in-depth atmospheric research, and the possible direct detection of plumes or other indications of geological activity are all possible with an orbiter built especially for Triton. In addition to looking for indications of past or current water, a lander might assess the surface chemistry in situ and possibly sample any eruptive plumes. The most complete view of Triton would be provided by a lander and orbiter combo, which would enable the study of its surface, atmosphere, and possible interior processes all at once. Triton is one among the far-off, dim objects that can be studied using the James Webb Space Telescope's state-of-the-art sensors. A closer look at a few important players is provided below. Near-infrared camera, NearCam. This potent camera can penetrate the haze encircling Triton and record the feeble light reflected from its surface because it works in the near-infrared region. Scientists can create a comprehensive compositional map by identifying the precise chemicals present on the surface by evaluating the intensity of light at various wavelengths. By dissecting Triton's infrared light into its constituent wavelengths, the near-infrared spectrograph, E-N-I-R-S-P-E-C, serves as a light detective. By identifying the distinct fingerprints of various molecules, this spectrum enables scientists to ascertain the temperature and abundance of the materials present. Scientists can map out temperature changes and maybe locate areas with unusual heat signatures by examining variations in the spectrum over Triton's surface. By using longer wavelengths, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRAI, can see deeper into Triton's atmosphere and possibly pick up traces of chemicals like carbon monoxide or methane. These trace gases may provide hints regarding possible cryovolcanism and be indicators of ongoing geological activity. In order to determine Triton's general temperature and whether any interior heat sources are present, Miri can also examine the feeble thermal radiation that the planet itself emits. The task of getting to Neptune and Triton is quite difficult. Using existing propulsion systems, the great distance, roughly 2.8 billion miles from Earth, translates to a transit duration of more than 10 years. Additionally, it is challenging to provide adequate power for conventional spacecraft operations due to the weak sunlight at Neptune's distance. We can use nuclear power for energy, gravity for speed, 
or smaller probes for specialized missions to study Triton. However, we need to be aware of the potential signals of life on Triton and take care not to introduce earthly microbes there. It's critical to strike a balance between exploration and safeguarding Triton's potential life. How do you feel about this finding? Tell us in the comments section. Now that you've seen this far, click on the essential video on your screen and like and subscribe. Together, let's do some more exploring.